Praise the Lord. It's a privilege to greet you today. We've had great weekend services joining together online, and so many was able to gather with us. And then following our services on Sunday, we had the virtual foyer, and so many was able to join and just chat a little while. And so good to be able to talk and visit and interact with one another. Uh, this moment that we're in, uh, one of the greatest difficulties of it is, is it creates a separation between each of us when we're so closely knitted together through a common experience of salvation and then just mutual friendship that we've built up over the years and it was good to be able to meet together. I just want to offer a word today to tell you to continue to look up, continue to keep your faith in Jesus Christ. It is vital, it's important for our spiritual warfare and well-being that we uh, focus ourselves into the Word of God. We spend time in prayer, Bible reading, devotions to keep ourselves spiritually strong. We do not want to become vulnerable to the enemy, allowing him to attack our mind and, and our spirit. So we have to pay very special attention. Uh, effort here and, and, and a close awareness of our spiritual walk with God. And we are believing that God is going to continue to visit and talk with us through this time. I would ask you to continue to pray for the saints of God uh, here in our local assembly. There are many that have uh, uh, come down with this virus and that are sick, and we, we need to pray and encourage them. Your notes and texts and cards that you might could send out would be of a great encouragement, a little phone call just to somebody letting them know that you care and you're thinking about them would be of great importance right now. This is also a great opportunity for you to continue your, your process of uh, inviting seven. And though we're not out being able to pass out cards necessarily, you could get on the phone, you could use a text, an email message to a neighbor, a friend, and say, just want you to know that God loves you. Invite them to our, our online activities and get them to be involved in, in services. It'd be an opportunity to teach a Bible study over the phone. Uh, you could FaceTime a Bible study to someone. This, these moments are just absolutely brimming with possibilities and opportunity to spread the gospel and to teach men and women about this glorious Jesus that you and I love. So continue to reach out, continue to love God, continue to be faithful. I want to thank you and commend you. So many are continuing your, your giving through online or by mail or uh, you have uh, done so by dropping by the church. We appreciate your continued burden for the kingdom of God and the work of the Lord. And I'm hearing reports of the blessings of God and favor that God is giving to, to the people of the Lord because they have been faithful over the years. God's continued to bless them even during this difficult time that we're in right now. Thank you for your faithfulness to all of that. I'm available to you. Uh, you, you have my cell number. You have ways of contacting me through, through uh, social media and uh, uh, through the website. I, I want to stay in touch with you. Don't hesitate to call me night or day, text. We want to visit. We want to talk with you and uh, ask God to bless your life, praying over you. So don't hesitate to get a hold of us. Let's look forward to this coming Wednesday night. A youth will be meeting again, and then our Bible study Wednesday evening. Invite somebody in to be a part of that. And let's continue looking forward to what God is doing. We don't know how long this is going to be. Uh, our president has now announced social distancing through the end of April. We don't know what all the parameters are going to look like. But God is in control in the hour we're in right now. And don't you ever forget it. God is in control. And he is able to do his greatest work right now. So let's look up. Let's lift up our eyes, not just to the eastern sky in anticipation of the coming of the Lord, but lift up our eyes expecting answers and provision and help to come from the presence of the Lord. Pastor loves you. Jesus loves you. Let's go and enjoy the presence of the Lord in the environment that we're in. God bless you. I'll see you Wednesday in Bible study.